Christmas or something. Uh, no, that was, yeah, that, was, that was lovely. So thank you very much, guys, um, for that. Uh, this this Jupiter and Velvet machine is is wow. That's quality, isn't it? I mean, he does some really cool stuff. This for me was like you know had a little bit of David Bowie, had a little bit of Talking Heads in there, had this funky, trippy or bits of it were a bit like the Doors, and bits of it were a bit like Pink Floyd, and bits of it was a bit like just this massive guitar solo. It was just like yeah, wicked, but kind of like not overdone, shreddy massive guitar right. solo. It was just like he tripped out classic and then it all sets this kind of funky groovy you know could be a kind of could be the theme to a modern day western almost uh, kind of thing going on in the background it was it was really quality tune i'm always, I'm always impressed by jupiter and velvet but um that in particular really you know that really did it for me actually that was uh, stood out quite a bit i thought that was quality loved yeah. it you know and just speaking of funky tune uh this is awesome because you know you know you know you know i work what's that sorry I thought you were going to say, speaking of Vaseline, sorry. No, 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 no. Well, probably good thing I was in a hotel room, and literally, <laughs> when, when, I, when I took the package phrasing, but, so, boom. Anyways, so, um, what I was going to say, uh, oh, man, now I lost my train of thought. Cause I got, <laughs> sorry. I got, I got caught up on that. Um, oh, damn it. <laughs> speaking of funky, I think. Oh yeah, no, yeah, that's right. So speaking of funky, so as everybody knows, I work two overnights a week at work, and uh, my 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 partner in crime, Cecile, she's an awesome lady. You know, like right close to retirement, she's sixty eight, but she likes all pretty much like all the stuff and movies that I brought in to watch. And last this past Thursday night, so so Wednesday night going into Thursday morning, we watched Beavis and Butthead do America. I haven't seen that in years, and she was actually laughing. It was awesome because I know I've talked about this before. Because when Mike Judge uh, um, uh, said the script and asked uh, um, Robert Stack, as we all know from Unsolved Mysteries and Airplane and The Untouchables, he was Elliot Nest. You know, so he uh, he asked him if he would be uh, a character, like a, a voiceover in the, in the movie for the head of the ATF. And uh, it was funny because the response Mike Judge got, he goes, "So let me get this straight. This movie's about cavity searches, <laughs> because every every time he says, give me, Johnson, give me cavity search, you can never be too sure." <laughs> America is such a good film. <laughs> so, watched, watched like, so, so stupid, it's funny, right? And oh, it's, it's just and, hilarious. Especially when they're in the bathroom with the iMac flushers, like, <laughs> 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 it's the whole thing. Isn't the whole thing basically they just want to replace their TV? Yeah, exactly. Like, uh, they, 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 they screw America looking for their TV, you know? <laughs> Most of the whole thing is absolutely outstanding. Yeah. I love on the plane. I am Cornholio. Yeah, yeah. I need to pee for my bum hole. <laughs> <laughs> or, or, or you're going to Vegas. I have to do a lot of sluts. Yeah, I have to do a lot of sluts too. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> and if people don't know, if they haven't seen the movie, the John Anderson, who was, uh, who was the, uh, the guy that they they were caught whacking in his tool shed. <laughs> He he was the basis for King of the Hill because King of the Hill was Mike Judge as well. I I wondered actually, yeah, it was literally only about a month or two ago I saw it again for the first time in like fifteen years, and it, that connection, I suddenly thought, God, is it intentionally the same guy, or did one come after the other, or whatever? Yeah, and no, King of the Hill came came way after that, and it's just like yeah. uh, the, the the cartoon for for Milton. Oh, okay, okay, okay. But if I'm gonna be steeper back, I'm gonna burn down the building. That 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 was a, that that was the basis for Office Space. The, the movie Office, Amazing. and the movie's Office Space. Mike Judge actually had a hand in because you know it was part of his cartoon, so they made it to real life, and it was really it was a great movie. It was really funny, and it's, it's classic too. eh? like kind of a cult classic, but so so there's some uh, useless information. But what I was getting to is for the movie. They had a really, really good soundtrack, and the Chili Peppers uh, did a remake of Love Roller Coaster, and that's what's getting the funky. And when that came on, I was like, man, ah, I haven't heard it so of long. Funky. I've got the link. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh -huh. So it, it came, it came up, it came up. It's like I completely forgot about this song. I've heard this song so long, it's so awesome. Because in, in the beginning part, you know, usually, usually, usually it's, it's Anthony Kiedis, but it was all Flea. You know, I was like, all oh, right, yeah, it was Anthony Kiedis. It was, it was, it was, it was Flea. It was not Anthony Kiedis until they started the song. Yeah, yeah, definitely. It's, it's a really, really. I mean, that's quality tune, and that's a, it's a great version of it. But it, yeah, it just, I remember when that came out. I was just like, this is amazing. <laughs> yeah, exactly right. So uh, we've got uh, a few more songs to get to. We got about three more to get to, and then we're gonna take a quick break and get uh, Manipulant on to talk about his new album. So we were shooting for seven thirty, so I'm gonna say about seven forty-five. If you're listening, and I'll, I'll, I'll message you if you don't. If you're not uh, Manipulant, but I'm sure you are. So we're gonna aim for seven forty-five. Just a little 
playing a little bit of breaking it through these last three songs. So next up, we have a band called Catalina Kicks, and this again, courtesy of Emma Scott and Plugin Baby, and the song's called We Don't Care. Dig this. Right on, Catalina kicks with "We Don't Care," and man, that sounded like an like an old school like Sex Pistols tune. That was awesome. Like I really enjoyed that one. Like really hard hitting, like very punky, like a very kind of kind of grungy and distorted. Like yeah, man, that was a great tune. Yeah, that was wicked. It was kind of punky, wasn't it? It was kind of uh, definitely in the vocal in terms of the well, the actual lyrics and the vocal delivery was quite Sex Pistolsy, um, but it was also just the way that snare drum was just pounding all the way through it. it had that kind of um, sort of American hardcore punk vibe going in as opposed to the sort of Brit punk um, you know see the 70s so kind of smash those two together and then I'm not sure if it was an organ or a bit of lead or um, couldn't quite uh, make it out but there was a nice little uh, sort of um, uh, I can't think of the word sort of running little uh, melody um, you uh, what's the thing called where you repeat something over and over again a loop? Wait, see my brain's gone a loop okay a loop no, I didn't mean to leave. Uh, it'll come back to me. But anyway, there's a nice little phrase in there that kept repeating, and that was really nice. Uh, but yeah, that was a really cool tune. I really enjoyed that. Um, I will remember that word during the next song, hopefully. Because if, <laughs> if you don't... Yeah, it's, it's going to annoy the hell out of me. That's what's going yeah. on. Who cares? But it's going to piss me off for the rest of the night. I'll be lying awake at four in the morning going, what is that bloody word? Oh, King, um, are you very nice? <laughs> Oh, I wish Jay was here. He yeah. always knows this stuff, my singer Jay. Anyway, <laughs> possibly. <laughs> Tweet your answers on a postcard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right on. Uh, so we got a couple more songs to get to. So uh, second to last song here is a brand new one by the Jade Assembly. Again, courtesy of Plugin Baby and Emma Scott. This one is called Got My Star. And here's a little gold star for you. Dig this. Watching the clock fingers ticking by There must be more to life than this And then I started to cry It feels like a prison sentence For eight hours of the day And somebody please get me out of here Cause I'm beginning to feel the fear I'm losing my mind Trying to act my master plan Somebody Come and save me Somebody better save me And it was then that I saw her face Like a guy 
Assembly with Got My Star. Now, man, that was a heavy blues rockin' tune. That was really well done. I love the vocals. Like, really very catchy. And just, like, heavy, 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 but heavy in a blues rock way, man. That was a great tune. Yes, it was. And the word is motif. Pardon me. Going back a little bit. Yeah. Uh, not, yeah, not, not, not to be prejudiced, Mike, but there's, there's, there's a, the kind of silly little British. Uh, excuse me, excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> Continue. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, there was a nice little motif in the track before the last one. Now onto this one. Just uh, catching up with myself. There. That, that was, that was driving. That's the kind of tune where you want to stick that in the car. Turn it up to full blast and drive at 100 miles an hour on a clear open road, which I don't know what it's like where you are. Well, based on what you said earlier, it's not possible. It's certainly not possible in the UK. But somewhere in the world, there's got to be one of those roads <laughs> <laughs> um, where you can actually get past you know, 20. Um, but yeah, no, it's, it, it, that's a proper nice, like, banging, driving, heavy, gets in your face. Again, I, I love these tracks with these pounding snare drums. It's just got so much energy in it and it lifts the whole thing. And then when the, when the bass sinks in with the uh, with the bass drum and the snare, like that one does so so nice and tight in the background. You almost don't notice it, but without it, you, you would notice it missing kind of thing. It's, it's really well done. Uh, yeah, that's quality. Really enjoyed that tune. Um, it, was, it was really good. Right on. Well, we have one more song to get to, then a quick break, and then Manipulant will be on with us. So the last song tonight is a song called All I Have by a band called Plainfield. And uh, these guys got in touch with us uh, and uh, pretty much courtesy of John Magnuson. So, Good man. We so, love John. Yeah, we love John. So, John, thank you for suggesting us to these guys. So this is Plainfield with All I Have. Dig this. <laughs> 